Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the magnetic sand timer. As always, adult supervision is required. There's a warning, choking hazard for with small parts and not for children under three. What you need for this experiment is a magnetic sand timer kit. And I got mine at Cost Plus, but I'll look in the description and I'll show you where you can buy it online. So this kit comes with a freestanding hourglass and the glass seems pretty strong as I didn't break it. And it comes with a metal stand and one rare earth magnet. So that's pretty cool. You have everything you need just inside the entire kit. What's great about this hourglass timer is it doesn't use that old boring sand, but fine metallic filings. So it is an actual timer and it's about approximately 30 seconds, but the times will vary. But that's something I didn't do in this experiment is keep track on the exact time. So just to give you a baseline, no magnet, no fun. So basically here it is just going down just like a normal sand timer. So this experiment, I'm gonna use the base with the magnet. As you flip it over, you can see that the magnetic filings on the tops are come from the gravity and stack up on top of the magnet in the base. And it produces an artistic pattern and structures. It's a new one every time. So it's kind of like building those staglomites that I did in another experiment. In this experiment, um, I'm going to use the original magnet it came with and one of the uh, rare earth magnets that I own. And you can see right off the bat that it actually starts to build a little bit higher and it kind of spreads out the staglomites a little bit farther up. And it wants to build a little higher because it's got a stronger magnetic base by using two different magnets. So I'm going to do this a couple more times. I'm going to see how many magnets before I actually um, it will either go to the top or it will stop working. So I will do that next. So this time I'm doing three magnets, one of the original and the two of my own. And this is the original speed. So the last one was fast forward. And you can see right off the bat, it just stops. It doesn't go any farther. So I guess I hit my uh, ending point right there. I'm gonna do it one more time. I think I might've put it on too quick. So here we go, test number two with three magnets. And uh, you put it on, it starts building up, but as soon as it gets close, you can still, it's building that straight line with three of them. And there it goes, it stops again. So um, it's not really meant for three. So this test, this time what I'm gonna do is turn it upside down after it's done to see what happens to the magnetic filings. So there it is, it's complete. It's all set up and then you flip it over by keeping the metal base on there. So you have the magnet, which, so it doesn't really surprise me that it's gonna stay. I go, I have it, and I'm kind of just wiggling the top, pulling the magnet off a little bit to see if it'll, there it is, it holds a little bit. It kind of connects up and goes a little bit farther. Some falls off as a little bit of the magnet gets pulled off there. You can see it kind of wants to hold. Um, and the filings are eventually just drop to the bottom, uh, which is pretty cool. So this time I took off the original magnet and just put my rare earth magnet, which is a little bit thicker than the one that comes with the kit. And you can actually see it does build a little bit higher. I didn't do exact measurement, but you can see it's higher. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click share or thumbs up. And um, thanks for watching.